Hi! Welcome to Facts in Minutes. I am Jasper Jatin Dog and your guide for this tour. In few minutes, I'll show you a few of UNESCO heritage sites in the world. Five from Asia, five from South America, and of course, five from North America. Now, we will start in Asia. I am proud as Asian and proud Filipino. So number one on my list is of course, the Philippines. I am presenting you the UNESCO Heritage Site in the Philippines. To Bataha Rift in Palawan. In December 1993, the UNESCO declared the Tubata Reefs National Park as a World Heritage Site as a unique example of an atoll reef with a very high density of marine species. The North Eslit serving as the nesting site of fur birds and marine turtles. The site is an excellent example of a pristine coral reef with a spectacular 100 meter perpendicular wall extensive lagoons and two coral islands. In 1999, Ramsar listed Tubataha as one of the wetlands of international importance. In 2008, the reef was nominated at New Seven Wonders of Nature. Tubataha Reef's natural park lies in a unique position in the center of the Sulu Sea and includes the Tubataha and Jesse Beasley Reefs. It protects an area of almost 100,000 hectares of high quality marine habitats containing three atolls and a large area of deep sea. The property is home to a great diversity of marine life. Whales, dolphins, sharks, turtles, and Napoleon grass are amongst the key species found here. The reef ecosystem supports over 360 species of coral and almost 700 species of fish. The reserve also protects one of the few remaining colonies of breeding seabirds in the region. From the Philippines, we will travel a secret place and that is Israel. Now, we have here the Masada. Masada is an ancient stone fortress in Israel, located high above the Dead Sea on a tall, rocky mesa. Now, an Israeli national park and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the 840-acre complex holds well-preserved ruins attesting to the history of the ancient kingdom of Israel and the courage of its people in the face of a Roman siege. Now, where is Masada? Masada is located in Israel on the edge of the Judean Desert between in Jadi and Sodom on cliffs made of a, up a chalk, dolomite in a marl strata about 1,300 feet or 400 meters above the Dead Sea. Because of the desert climate, the surrounding area is virtually uninhabited and undeveloped. Animazio! Hmm, I know you know where we will go next. And welcome to South Korea!
We have here the Wei Ziyong. Wei Ziyong is a piled stone and brick fortress of the Zhu Ziyuan dynasty that surrounds the center of Suwon city of Jiongji, Du province. It was built in the late 8th century by King Jiongzhou for defensive purposes, to form a new political basis and to house the remains of his father, Crown Prince Zhang Yun. The massive walls of the fortress, which are 5.74 kilometers in length, enclose an area of 130 hectares and follow the topography of the land. The Suwon Jiuan, the main stream in Suwon, flows through the center of the fortress. Our next destination in Asia is the land of the rising sun, and that is Japan. One of its UNESCO heritage site is Ogasawara Island. The Ogasawara Island or Ogasawara Shudo, also known in English term as the Bunin Island, are a chain of volcanic island in the Pacific Ocean about 1,000 kilometers south and administratively part of Tokyo. The sole way to reach the islands is by a weekly 24-hour ferry ride from Tokyo. Only the two largest islands, Jich Ijima, Father Island, and Hahajima, Mother Island, are inhabited. So the crap, are you fascinated of Japan? I'm sure you will be amazed to our next heritage site and that is from Thailand and we have here the Dong Payayan Khao Yai Farex Complex. This heritage spans 230 kilometers between Tap Raya National Park on the Cambodian border in the east and Khao Yai National Park in the west. The site is home to more than 800 species of fauna, including 112 mammal species, among them two species of gibbon, 392 bird species, and 200 reptile and amphibian species. It is internationally important for the conservation of globally threatened and endangered mammal, bird and reptile species, among them 19 that are vulnerable, 4 that is are endangered, and 1 that is critically endangered. The area contains substantial and important tropical forest ecosystems, which can provide a viable habitat for the long-term survival of this species. Those are just few of hundreds of UNESCO heritage sites in Asia. From Philippines, Israel, South Korea, Japan, and Thailand, we will be going to the North America. Starting with a country that is known for its spicy cuisine, festive drinks, and some of the best beach destinations in the world. Welcome to Mexico! UNESCO's heritage site in Mexico is Izamal. Izamal is a place where time stands still. The yellow city that is located in the state of Yucatan is a magical town that you will not want to leave. It was one of the most important cities for the Mayans and it is considered one of the oldest. Then where is Izamal? It is located within the state of Yucatan in the southeast of the country.
and about 72 kilometers or 115 miles from Merida, one of the most important cities in the state. To get to Izamal from Merida, you just have to take the Merida Sea and Kun Highway and turn up at a kilometer 48 towards Izamal. The trip takes up approximately 45 minutes by car. Izamal is fantastic, but wait, let me take you to the greatest nation in the world and welcome to United States of America. The UNESCO Heritage Site we have here is Everglades National Park. This heritage protects an apparelled landscape that provides important habitat for numerous rare and endangered species like the manatee. American Crocodile and the elusive Florida Panther. This heritage is an international treasure as well, a World Heritage Site, International Biosphere Reserve, a wetland of international importance, and a specially protected area under the Cartagena Treaty. Everglades National Park in USA. Our next country is not really familiar to me, but I'm sure we will be amazed of what they've got. Welcome to Belize. UNESCO Heritage Site here is the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System. This site was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. It's comprised of seven protected areas. As the largest reef complex in the Atlantic Caribbean region, it represents the second largest reef systems in the world. The unique array of reef types within one self-contained area distinguishes the site from other reef systems. The site is one of the most pristine reef ecosystems in the Western Hemisphere and was referred to as the most remarkable reef in the West Indies by Charles Darwin. The reef complex is comprised of approximately 450 sand and mangrove caves.
next destination is Canada and we have here the Nahani National Park. Nahani Hig Sir Key of the unclimbable granite spices rise out of the lush alpine meadow at Najichu or Virginia Falls and the South Nahani River surges over drop twice at the height of Niagara Falls. Nahani National Park Reserve encompassing 30,000 square kilometers is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. The deck of First Nations welcome adventures to Na, the land or of peaks, plages, and wild rivers. Nahani National Park World Heritage Property, located in Canada's Northwest Territories, is a 470,000 hectare and disturbed natural area of deep river canyons cutting through mountain ranges with huge waterfalls and complex cave systems. Our next and last destination in North America is Honduras and we have here the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve. This heritage is located in the Mosquieta region of northeastern Honduras. Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve is the largest protected area in the country with 350,000 hectares. The property protects the entire watershed of the Rio Platano all the way from the headwaters in the mountains to the river mouth on the Caribbean coast. Adding to its importance, the property is an integral part of a significantly larger conservation complex encompassing the Waka Asangni Biosphere Reserve and Patako National Park, among other protective areas. And now, we are done with North America, and without further ado, we will go to the South, starting with Colombia. In Colombia, they have Chiribiquit National Park, or they call it the Manuka of the Jaguar. It is in the Amazon rainforest in South Central Colombia. Following its extension in 2013, the park is now the largest national park in Colombia at 2,782,354 hectares and is very large by global standards for protected areas. It is located at the westernmost edge of the Guiana Shield of the, and it contains one of the only three uplifted areas of the shield called the Chiribiquit Plateau. Hola! We're done in Colombia. We are now heading to Brazil. In Brazil, they have the Brazilian Atlantic Islands of Fernando de Noronha. Located in the South Atlantic Ocean, they are a part of the Mid-Atlantic Reach. Fernando de Noronha is the main island in an archipelago of the same name. The archipelago consists of 21 islands, islets, and rocks of volcanic origin, and the visible peaks of a range of submerged mountains. Fernando de Noronha is approximately 232 kilometers or 144 miles from the main land. Let's explore more here in Peru. One of UNESCO's heritage sites here is the Manu National Park. Manu National Park is a globally renowned heaven of terrestrial biodiversity at the meeting point of the tropical Andes and the Amazon Basin in southwestern Peru as a vast geographically and economically isolated watershed. The steel roadless property has been spared from most human impacts and is quite difficult to access to this day.
that's all from Peru. Now we are going to Venezuela, one of my favorite country to visit in the world. In Venezuela, they have Canaima National Park. It is the gateway to Angel Falls. Although other waterfalls and lagoons can be visited from Canaima Camp, the main reason tourists fly here is for the three-day, two-night trips to the base of Angel Falls. There is an incredible variety of tropical wildlife in the area, including monkeys, poison arrow frogs, and hundreds of species of orchids. Mammals in the area are generally difficult to spot but include giant antiteers, armadillos, porcupines, tree-toed slugs, otters, jaguars, pumas, tapirs, and capybaras. We are going to Argentina. The UNESCO Heritage Site in Argentina is the Lampaya National Park. It is located in the east center of La Rioja, province, Argentina. It was designated a provincial reserve in 1975, a national park in 1997, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. the last country of our tour. I hope you enjoy in the Philippines, Israel, South Korea, Japan, Thailand, Mexico, USA, Belize, Canada, Honduras, Peru, Colombia, Brazil, Venezuela, and of course Argentina. These are just few to show how gorgeous the UNESCO Cultural and Natural Heritage Site in the world. Once again, this is your tour guide, Jasper J. Dog, and this is Foxed in Minutes.